is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I really hope that you guys are doing well. Now we're kickstarting things looking at the surface chart here. So we can see that there are two fronts in the Caribbean that extend from the Caribbean outward to the Atlantic. So one is a stationary front in the Caribbean. We can see that symbol with the blue triangle and the red semicircle on the opposite side of the line. That is representative of a stationary front. Now, as suggested by the name, it is tall in there. It's not moving, but behind it is a cold front. So there we can see it. Now, with that, there is quite a bit of activity across portions of the Caribbean right now. Let's go on to that. And there we can see it. So there's a lot of rainfall across some areas and overcast conditions and with these fronts as well there's also those rougher seas those stronger winds coming from the north or the northeast so that's going to be the story for today for much of the western caribbean but looking over in the east uh the lesser antilles puerto rico the virgin islands the abc islands not seen where much is really happening right now so it's pretty dry there some saharan dust is still in the area but that is uh, that has been dissipating for the most part. Now, looking at the rainfall forecast, this is from Euro, and the more colorful this map becomes, the more rainfall is expected. So as we head toward those shades of those reds, those burgundies, purples, pinks, a lot more rainfall is expected. And we can certainly see some of those shadings in portions of the Northwestern Caribbean, looking toward Honduras and even the Bay Islands as well. And surrounding areas are also quite colorful with those red and orange shadings, such as Belize, as well as the Keys, Guatemala, parts of Mexico, and even headed toward the Cayman Islands, Cuba, sections of the Bahamas, parts of Jamaica, and even over into some spots in Haiti. So with that, there could be some periods of very heavy rainfall, and we know how the story goes with that. At times, it can result in flooding. So please be mindful of that. And should, be, uh, should you encounter any floodwaters, please do not take any unnecessary risk so uh, flooding is certainly possible and the rainfall today could be up to around four inches potentially even higher for portions of northern honduras now looking towards other areas such as nicaragua costa rica panama yes there could be some showers today across some areas and similar story for northern south america all the way from colombia through the guyanas there could be some periods of some heavy downpours but things will be a bit on the drier side for sections of the eastern caribbean as we saw much is not happening so for the dominican republic of course some areas may receive some rainfall today but uh, that is not expected to be uh, very widespread but going toward puerto rico the virgin islands through the lesser antilles uh, as well as the ABC Islands. A whole lot of rainfall is not expected today, or even if there is some heavy rain that is not expected to be very widespread across many areas. Going toward the Turks and Caicos Islands, there could be some showers moving through the area and the northwestern Bahamas, Abaco Islands, Grand Bahama. There may not be much similar story for Florida. Now, looking at the wind forecast, as we see more of these darker purple and these blue shadings popping up, that is indicating that the wind is going to be stronger. So looking in the northwestern Caribbean, following the stationary front and even the other front that is noted in the region, there's going to be those rougher seas because those winds are going to be kicking up. So we can see winds up to around 30 knots across some areas offshore of Belize, uh, in the vicinity of the Keys, the Bay Islands of Honduras, the Cayman Islands as well, even going toward parts of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico and Cuba. So winds are definitely likely to pick up later today across those areas, eventually for Jamaica as well. But things remain quite tranquil for the most part for the eastern islands. So that is what is going on, guys. Now, with that, there is a dip in temperature as well. So here is what the GFS is forecasting for later today. And it is represented by those blue shadings. Blue shadings represent below average temperatures. Meanwhile, those orangish, those red and yellow shadings represent above average temperatures. So we can see that that cooler air has sunken into portions of the southern U.S., into the Gulf, and over into areas such as Mexico, we can certainly see that temperatures are expected to be below normal. Also for Belize, northern Guatemala, going toward Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the northern Bahamas, not yet for Jamaica. 
So it's really as we head into tomorrow when GFS is expecting that we're going to be feeling some of this cool down here. So especially with the rainfall and the overcast conditions. And as we head into the evening hours, that is really going to be the time when we notice that the temperature has slightly decreased from what is typical at this time of year. You're also showing that dip in temperature early tomorrow morning, as we can see here. So uh, models are certainly in agreement with that. So that is what is happening, guys. And as I said, there could be some periods of some heavy rainfall today and that may potentially trigger flooding it's not a must but it is a possibility and so please stay safe and i'll be keeping you posted as time goes by so that is it for this update video and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weather wise